friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela D. And if you are new here, I am vlogging about anything and everything, but most especially my journey through to become a foster parent, or as they say here, a resource parent. As background, I have been wanting to foster for about six years. Um, I've gone to several orientations. I have gotten so close to applying so many times, but just wasn't the right time in my life. And just recently I've decided now's the time. I give you a little update and go over our timeline here. In October, I submitted my application. About um, a day later, I heard from the agency saying that they wanted to set up my um, pre-assessment, which means um, a placement worker comes to your house and decides if you um, might be a fit for their program, and if so, they um, pass your information along to um, the people back at like the admissions part of the agency, and then they invite you to take classes. Um, a couple weeks later in November, I started classes. Mid-November, we skipped a week for Thanksgiving. Did my last two classes at the beginning of December. Through this entire process, I turned in all of my paperwork early, earlier than anybody else in my class, submitted absolutely everything, and now I am waiting for my placement social worker to be able to come back to my house and do my, hopefully, last home study. They do three home studies, minimum. They can do more if they need to. I'm hoping she only needs to do three. My my luck is that I am a super go-getter and I wanted everything done, so I submitted it all before the end of my classes. Um, and my social worker, the one that I got, or I think they're called like a placement specialist or something, but she is a social worker. She apparently is one of the busier ones because some of my classmates who hadn't quite finished their paperwork ended up having their third home study done like the day after our last class in mid-December. Trying to be patient, trying to understand that this is just one of the many frustrations of working in this system. It's minor. Um, when I spoke with a current foster parent in my agency, she said, enjoy your last Christmas of silence. That's kind of my update. Um, from October to today, I've turned in everything. I've gotten my physical done. I got a TB test done, a car inspection. I am ready. I am just waiting on the system now. Today is February 4th. Let's rewind back to January 31st. January 31st, I was officially licensed to be a foster parent through my agency and through Los Angeles County. Um, I had to sign a form, had to look over my family assessment to see if everything was factual and true and um, return the signed form to them, which I promptly did. Now, even though I was licensed, I could not immediately start taking calls for babies because I needed to make meet the placement specialist at my agency. This person is the person that the county calls whenever they have a baby that needs a foster parent. I had to meet with this person um, that was in my agency. And sorry, I have the burps. This is gonna be a crazy video. Anyway, January 31st, I got licensed. Today, February 4th, I had to go meet with this specialist so that she could talk to me about um, the court process. So she could talk to me about the kind of things that she has um, to tell parent, foster parents when she calls them. Um, she showed me the list of available families and kind of the reasoning behind how she places people. And, um, and then she basically just talks to you about the entire process from her point onward. Um, I was meeting with a lady and while we were talking, she got a phone call. So I kind of had to wait for her to be finished with the call. I was kind of listening. I could hear that it was someone that was telling her about a baby that had come into care. And so I was like, oh, this is really neat. I get to sit here and listen to her um, take this call and kind of get a bird's eye view of what she does and what that looks like for her from the moment she gets the call onward. So she gets basic information, pauses the call, and then looks at me and says, are you ready to take a baby today? <laughs> Oh, wow. So she said that and I was like, uh, yeah, 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 yes, yes. Um, and she's like, okay, he's a newborn baby boy. He's three days old. He's at the hospital. Um, 
not he's not totally ready to come home yet so i have to get more details but it'll be sometime today what's your schedule look like i signed the form that said we have this meeting which is the meeting i had to do before i could get placements but i got a, a placement call in the meeting um that is how desperate los angeles county is for foster parents if you live in la county they need you they need you so badly like she'd been getting calls all week long for babies hi everyone it is 7 45 p.m i'm sitting here in not so great lighting because i have a little pal Here's his little feet. That's all I can share with you. Can't show his face. Can't tell you his name, but we are calling him Buster. So you can call him Buster D if you want. Got home at six and he came at, I think, 6.15. And then um, he is a he. He's a little boy. He's three days old. Um, I'm freaking out a little bit. Not in a bad way. Um, and just, uh, I have a three day old and I ordered food and my food got there as soon as he got here. So everybody came at the exact same time. And then the social worker from my agency called and then it was nuts. But this little guy is officially six months old, right, Potato? And he has one little snaggle tooth. And just this morning, the very, very top of a second snaggle tooth has emerged. So he has, um, a third of a tooth and the very top of a tooth. He can roll from his front to back as he could from like a week and a day. And now he can roll from his back to his front, but he doesn't like to do it. I don't know why, it's just not his thing. Like he'll just lay there and cry until you flip him over like a pancake. Can sit up, supported. He can sit up on his own for like 10 seconds before he loses his balance. He's really good at grasping, clutching. He loves his clutching toys. He, um, he's just the best baby ever. Oh my goodness! What do you see? Oh, you see your train, your, your toy. What you got? You see the market? Buster is a daycare. I got a call yesterday asking if I would be open to taking a tiny little second potato boy. He was at a hospital. He needs a mom or dad. He needs a foster parent. Um, and then uh, would I do it? And of course I said yes, because I can't say no. Hi guys, it's 11 p.m. Mr. Man has landed. He just had a bottle. Actually, the full story is the um, social worker called me from the curb because she didn't have a bucket carrier. She only had a convertible car seat and so she couldn't take the car seat out to bring him inside. So we all met her down there with my bucket seat. I carried, oh, Buster heard the phone ring. So he woke up crying, <laughs> picked him up, carried him out. He was so confused. Came back in, he stayed confused, but he didn't cry. His name for the vlog will be Dash. Thank you to Auntie Marina for helping me out with that one. So Buster and Dash. Um, I let Buster stay up for 10 minutes. Um, bless you. I let Buster stay up for 10 minutes because I didn't want to just immediately shove him back in his crib. Oh, he hears me talking. I need to stop talking. Um, I'll update more in the morning. Buster is one, Dash is almost two months. We are on vacation in Laguna Beach. All right, we have the breakfast of champions here. Mr. Dash is gonna stay inside. Right here. I'm gonna crack the door. It's a little chilly. I'm in short sleeves, I'm fine. Um, yeah! And Buster's in his comfy cookie outfit. Right here, Sham. Are you ready? Milk. Peanut butter and jelly toast and eggs for me. And the view. What do you think? Does it look yummy? You gonna get the camera?
uh, Buster, who's 19 months, and Dash, who is eight months. Um, we are currently in, or near San Diego, I don't know exactly where, near San Diego. We are at a camel dairy. Oh. 